Thank you so much for coming on. Can we start with your names? I'm Dre Clements. I'm Alyssa. And how long have y'all been together? Three years. <laughs> how did y'all meet? Freshman orientation. Who was interested in who? Me. <laughs> did you pull up? Technically, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got seven questions on that table for you, Dre. We're going to have you... Uh, Pick the first one, then you guys are just gonna answer those questions. All right, number one, describe me in five words. Explain why you chose those words. Okay. Gosh. Five words. Okay. Beautiful. Because obviously you're beautiful. You're goofy. We always got a good laugh, no matter what we're doing. It's always a good time. Charismatic, you really care about a lot of stuff. Emotional, because you know, you're a cancer. You always cry, but it's all <laughs> <laughs> And then I say, uh, inspirational. You inspire me to, you bring the best out of me. Five words to describe you. Goofy, that's what draw me to you. Um, stubborn. Yeah, stubborn. I don't really know how to explain how he's, I mean, you're just stubborn. It explains itself. Um, <laughs> handsome, because yeah, you are. Um, this is hard. Like, I have, like, I don't know how to explain the, like, you know, I don't know how to put it into a word, though. Like, I love how you are, like, in your face. Like, how do I put that? Like, that's not a, you know. You're strong in your faith. And um, that's also what drew me to you, and it's changed my life. Um, and you are caring yeah. when you actually put in the effort. Mm. Yeah, when you don't hide your vulnerability, you're caring. Okay. I'd be oh. Question number two. Do you remember our first date? Where did we go? How were you feeling before? Okay, so our first date was at the movies. Yeah. We went with Daniel and Kira. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, we went to the movies and we saw, what is that movie that's really funny with Tiffany? Hill. Girls Trip. Girls Trip. Girls that's what, Trip. Yep. And how was I feeling before? I was feeling excited and I was interested in seeing where this will go so yeah first date girls trip we saw it at the movie theater real funny movie wasn't really watching it i was just playing <laughs> don't say it. i'm just playing well yeah girls trip it was fun it was nice little i was like you know she got a nice little vibe to her kind of took a while for us you know to actually go on that first official date four years yeah we just was you know, going off and it's on, okay. but you know, it it's all, time. yeah, it wasn't our time. But yeah, first date, it was a nice little first date. Yeah, y'all remember what y'all was wearing? Oh God, I don't know that. I know she looked good. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, but I do know he had his um, what's it called? Your little football thing that you do at midnight, midnight madness. It was after that, but you remember it got canceled. Yeah. So then we went with. We mm -hmm. met at, I think it was Dylan's house, Dylan, mm -hmm. Dethro, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what he's wearing. Yeah, I don't know. I have a video from my, that memory, but like, I don't remember what he's wearing. Number three, what do you think my worst trait is? What is my best trait? Okay, so I'm going to go first. I think okay. your worst trait, you like, sometimes you just be extra. You're extra. It's all right, though. I still love you. But yeah, you're just extra sometimes. Like, if... Actually, no. Your worst trait would be your stubbornness. Because, like, when we're beefing, we wouldn't, like... I mean, me too, of course. Me too. But, like, we're beefing, 
we wouldn't like no nobody would like take the first step you know hey let's fix this we just like kind of just distance distance yeah so yeah just being stubborn about you know some things mm -hmm. your best trait though would be your honesty real honest if I say yeah I look, no, 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 no. You, you wouldn't lie. You just, you don't lie. Why do you use that as an example? That's just how, that's an example. <laughs> Your best trait would have, I mean, wait, no, I did that. Worst wrong. trait, best Your trait. worst trait would have to be, yeah, your stubbornness. Because, like your example, it would be hard to, like, talk. And, like, I used to, I would always have to be the first one to give in. <laughs> Like even if we go like twenty four hours without speaking, I'd always have to be the one, the one to give in, even if I didn't cause, you know, anything. But <laughs> <laughs> your best trait would have to be you being caring. This would have to be your best trait. How so? I mean, because even on like when you're having your good days and you actually want to be vulnerable, you go all out to show that you care. Which is nice. Well, we have four? Four, yeah. Number four, what do you think makes a long-lasting relationship? Okay. Well, I think that communication, mm -hmm. trust, mm -hmm. and understanding, and actually really wanting to be in that relationship with that person. Because if you don't want it all, there's going to be those parts that you know it won't work but yeah I think that you have to trust each other you have to be able to communicate um, and you have to be able to understand while you're communicating what they're trying to say because uh -huh. without understanding there's no point in communicating okay I say well, what makes a long lasting relationship would be communicating and trust of course and always like keeping, keeping like the, the like the little things, doing little things, and just like always, you know, don't like get complacent, you know, or just like always, always like try to like like me. I'm like all like I should always like try to you know trying to get you type thing you know yeah. what i'm saying like what you do in the beginning of the relationship yeah. to get that person you can't just, just stop, stop once you have them you have to keep applying that in mm -hmm. the relationship apply that pressure yeah yeah that's what i think how do you keep doing that right now right now i mean i say you know Can i say something go ahead i feel like it depends on that person's like love language because what i like might not be the same for what he likes mm -hmm. for me to do and vice versa yeah, yeah just you know Keep going on, like, keep going on dates, you know. Try new things together. Even if, you know, simple, something simple, simple. Try new things. See places. We gotta start traveling. We're gonna start traveling. One day. Yeah. Number five. How do you think I have grown during our relationship? When we first started dating, it was like, it was like, well, we was in high school, so, you know, we was like, Sort of childish yeah, we're still, you know, childish and worried about this and that. Worried about this drama. Drama, drama. That's you know. I feel like once we got out of high school, graduated, kind of like grew up. That's when we like. Oh, we just, I feel like we just work. We 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 worked on ourselves, you know, better. And I feel like we you got better at communicating. You got better at um, understanding why I like operate in a certain situation. You know? I feel like yeah, better understanding on a spiritual level. You know, we you know, going to church and stuff, so we got the got the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, you're growing on a spiritual level. I see you um, walking in faith. He's gotten better with being vulnerable. Because in the beginning, I know we both got hurt in past relationships, so we were scared of opening up to each other. But he's gotten better with that. 
He's also gotten better with being honest, more honest, even though he would be scared of how I would react to the honesty. But he's gotten better with just, even though you don't know how I'll react, you've been better with just telling me. And he's gotten better with applying that pressure. Like before in the relationship, he would do the things to get me, like buy me flowers and take me out and stuff and just the little things. And then after like, I think a year, he kind of got, you know, Close. comfortable. And yeah, within like the past year, I can see he's actually trying again. <laughs> six. Number six. What is our favorite thing to do together? Mm -hmm. <laughs> eat. <Yeah. laughs> we love to eat. Mm -hmm. Also, I think just like going out on dates, I think is one of our favorite things to do together. I say eat. We always eat. Favorite place to eat? Like our together? Ooh. One, two, three. Cheesecake, Cheesecake factory. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's our spot. It would be between that and like a seafood boil. Mm. Those would be the top two. Yeah. Because it was smack. Number seven. Last one. When was the moment that you knew that our relationship was special? Mm, this is a good one. Moment that I knew our relationship was special. I knew we were like really gonna work was when he had to, when he decided to join the Navy, because that is a big stepping stone. You got to build a lot of trust in mm -hmm. all of that. And like before we talked about like breaking up and stuff, like before he went to like boot camp and stuff. But I think we decided to just try it out. And then, I mean, look, we're still together, mm -hmm. so. Okay. But, yeah. The moment that I knew our relationship was special. When I got back from uh, boot camp, you held it down. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I didn't know if you was gonna you know, hold it down. It was only like what? What was it? Two months? Two months. Two months? Yeah. Two months. Yeah. You held it down for like two months. I was like, you know what? She can do that. That's real special. I think we're going, we can work this out. And seeing you with like, you said you rode the plane with like my fam and stuff. You know, that's like your part of the family. So yeah, I say that when I got back from boot camp, and I saw you. She was pretty high. Mm. Like, hey. Yeah, it's special. We can we can make it work. Can I also tag on that? Tag on. Like in boot camp, like we could only really do letters. So it's mm. different from when you went on like your four month deployment mm -hmm. where we could at least email. So letters was like Yeah. I don't know, right, it was different. Right love letters. Yeah. And <laughs> those letters like I also think yeah. also form the heart out. Yeah. It was different in the yeah, it's special. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks guys. Appreciate it.